What is up everyone? Welcome to Star Citizen. I am so excited to bring you guys a quick look at this game and what it has to offer. So, I've been bouncing around some ideas in my mind about what I wanted to really show you all and I decided that before we jump into anything, I wanted to give you a look at the current alpha version universe. Now, the idea behind this game is it's supposed to be a space simulator. You should be able to do just about anything in it um, that would make sense in a spacey sort of game. You can own multitudes of ships, you can transport goods, you can fight in space, defeat pirates, work for the military, you can basically be a bodyguard, a bounty hunter, you could be a marine if you wanted to. There is a ton of stuff. You can even see in the background some of the larger ships. These are going to be ships that you can potentially own later on in the game and have multi crude ships so that means like you get your guild of friends together and basically you guys fly around as a five-man multi crude ship and basically one person's gonna pilot one person's gonna man guns one person's gonna do the shields all of that stuff um, they have a few of those types of ships in the game already I not currently own one but uh, they do have free weekends right now where they allow you to sort of mess around with certain ships that they need testing on but for now, we're going to jump into the universe, and we're going to check this game out. I'm going to go to some spots, and uh, hopefully we can get into some fights with some pirates, because they're in the game right now, too. So, let's go ahead, and let's get into the game. Alright, here we go. We are waking up. I think we're waking up. There we go. Must have had a little too much to drink here. So, uh, one of the areas you start out in, and the only area you can actually access your ship without going into the hangar, um, is one of the stations and you kind of wake up in these little bunk rooms and yeah so we're gonna take a look now I want to reiterate this is an early alpha build uh, so keep that in mind there's gonna be bugs there's gonna be crashes there's going to be lag you can see other players over there um, so keep that in mind we're gonna bring up our menu to get rid of some of this journal stuff so you get like all kinds of really cool fun things that you can mess around with all right so we need to go down we need to basically have our ship delivered to one of the launch pads so we'll go on down now like I said keep in mind there's gonna be there's gonna be a bit of lag and all of that uh, I'm apparently going the wrong way there we go this is the way we need to go oh there are a lot of people playing this right now I was not expecting that okay so let's see here we only have access to the the ship that I currently own which is the Mustang Alpha we're gonna request the ship launch pad Alpha 8 okay so what is Alpha 8? Jet. Let's see, that's one through four, five through eight's this way. Okay. Launch pad, five through eight. Oh, we can get in there before he closes it. Okay. These are these are airlocks, they need to be cycled, and uh, while they're being cycled, you cannot enter that. <laughs> Alright, we're on launch pad eight, which is out this way. Okay, and there's our ship. Mustang Alpha. Give you guys a quick little look at this thing. So the only armaments it has are the uh, the two cannons right there in the front. Uh, they are energy-based weapons. Keep that in mind. So this back here, uh, you can actually put modules in here if you want to. I know I've seen some people have, uh, I think it's like the, the Mustang uh, Beta, where uh, this is actually like a living quarters back here, so you can go on longer distance stuff. Uh, I, I'm assuming I could probably put like cargo containers and stuff like that back here, which would be really cool, so you can actually transport some things if I wanted to. Maybe even uh, different armaments if they have them available. Right now, though, I'm basically left with the, the basic Mustang Alpha variant. Um, I don't have any modules I can put in there. So we're going to activate this and climb up inside and go through all the startup procedures. Uh oh. Looks like we've already run into a bug. There we go. Climb up into the cockpit. Perfect. 
So the uh, the system's gonna stop. We can look around the cockpit if we want to. begins now. All systems operational. Very simple cockpit for this uh, for the Mustang Alpha. Um, we don't have a lot of extra uh, consoles or displays or anything like that. Where basically you can see the turret is moving with me. We we have a very very basic sort of setup here. Now, if you look on the left-hand side, you can actually see that I've got the M3 Alpha laser cannon times two. That is, those are my armaments, so I have laser cannons equipped. Okay, so typically you need to ask for liftoff and things like that, but I think they've removed that right now. So we're just going to hit the middle mouse button, and it's going to automatically Contact. lift this off. And we'll be disabled. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, so we're just going to pull out of the, uh, the landing area, get out into space, and then we're going to take a look at some of our navigational locations and... Start to see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. So right now we are in precision mode. There are three different modes: precision, uh, space combat mode, and then of course there is the interesting. Uh, there is the uh, cruise mode, which allows you to do all kinds of really fun and crazy stuff. So, all right. So here we are. We are outside now. If we hit our navigational button, scanning. Whoa. I think I'm still within the, the field there. So, all right. So we have multiple locations we can currently go to. Now, like I said, this is basically the uh, the universe as it is right now. Uh, very small, but uh, you still have a lot that you can do. So we're gonna go out to, like, let's check out yellow real quick. We'll, we'll head out here, quantum we'll activate our, our quantum drive, and we'll shoot out here real quick. Now this is an asteroid field. Um, there can be bandits or pirates out here, but likely you're not going to really see too much. I just want to show you guys what some of this stuff looks like. So we're still in precision mode. We're going to go up into space combat mode. Precision mode has a maximum speed of, uh, I think it's 50 meters per second. And this one, I believe, for the Mustang has uh, 195 meters per second is its uh, maximum speed for the space combat mode. So this gives you guys a look at just the different environments you can get into. And uh, you guys can check out what some of the flight looks like. It looks like I'm damaged already. I don't know what happened. Weird. Maybe somebody else just popped in? I think I just heard something. Nope. Okay. So, that's pretty much what this place is like. You can come out here. You can get into dogfights. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of mining stuff you can do. So, some of these asteroids might have minerals that you can mine up. Um, you have to be aware of pirates and things like that. So, let's go ahead and take a look at another look at something. Uh, there are arrays out there that you can go to. We can go to uh, shipping hubs. Let's see here. Let's go to the... I think the security post is where you can get guns right now. Let's go to the Cry Astro service. Quantum travel engaged. Contact scanning. Quantum travel complete. Okay, so you gotta remember that you are in space, so if you're cruising uh, like really fast towards an object and you hit your brakes, it is gonna take Thanks you time by Cry Astro. to slow down. Connect to your ship. Whoa. Our systems indicate your ship suffered some minor damage. Would you like us to repair it? Uh, sure. How do I make you repair it? I don't know how landing to make. Mode oh, there we go. So now uh, we get we can activate landing mode. We're gonna request landing. landing. Request approved. All right, we've been approved. This is our landing space over here. We need to actually uh, go to the precision mode. We can land, it looks like they can repair us. So we'll go ahead and we're going to, uh, we're actually going to go into even more precision flight here and use the actual landing. Whoa. The Mustang really likes to uh, shit and get, basically. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna land and we should be good so you can see on my, my panel here switching between the different uh modes is going to allow you to landing complete awesome Launch complete landing request approved starting repairs now nice oh cool these little drones come out they're gonna repair me this is awesome Well, 
that's nice of them. <laughs> Fuel is also going to be a uh, something you need to worry about in here too. Okay, so I think that I need to once again request permission to leave. Oh, maybe not. Just gonna let us take off. Flight on our assist own. disabled. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and back out of here. And uh, we'll find another Landing location to go mode to. Activated. Hit the wrong Weapons button. Weapons mode activated. Okay, so what do we have? We were just there. Let's go to one of the Comarays. Yeah, let's go to this one. Engaged. So there are currently pirates in the game. Uh, you can uh, fight them. They're usually pretty weak unless they uh, they get some lucky hits off complete. on you. But for the most part, you should be able to take them out, no problem. There's actually a lot to this game right now, uh, as it is. Oh, we have a contact. Scanning. Scanning. Contact. Well, there are a lot contact. of contacts. Let's go ahead and cycle through some of these guys. That one looks like it's dead. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and see if we can get in here and get some combat going. We are pretty far away right now. So I believe that this one right here is Scanning. our target. He is spinning out of control. We're like 7,000 meters away right now, so Contact. we're gonna try and get in here. Scanning. Contact. Well, that one is no more. I guess we can pump this into cruise mode and really speed this sucker up. There we go. Contact. Alright, kick it back down to you now. Scanning. Contact. Scanning. Contact. Scanning. Well, there are a lot of bandits here. A lot of pirates. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that one just ran into, uh, looks like one of the solar arrays and got taken out. Okay, so we're hit. Uh oh, we're hit bad. Alright, we're going to uh, speed up here. Now you see I'm starting to black out. Cut this back down. Now we can spin around and we're going to try and do some interesting uh, combat maneuvers here. So you hear our thruster is just burning up. It's a lot of fuel wasting right there. Pretty far away. Let's go back into cruise mode and see if we can get a little closer. There we go. We're getting some hits in. Spin this puppy around. So you can see that we have a secondary uh, reticle pop up. It's going to be a like smaller circle. There we go. Now we're in range to actually get this guy. All right. Looks like they ran into the array as well. All right. So that gives you a quick look at the uh, some of the fights with some pirates. There we go. All right. So this is one of the calm arrays. Contact. Um, some Scanning. of these. Whoa. Okay, that's friendly. <laughs> uh, some of these will need repairs and things like that, and you can get jobs and tasks to come out here and take care of that sort of stuff. So there's a lot that you can do in this game, and uh, a lot that you can sort of uh, get your hands into, which is going to be a lot of really cool. I like stuff like that. So if you want to be more of like an engineer type instead of a you know hot shot pilot, there's things for you to do. Um, Shield at full strength. If you just want to be a merchant and transport goods, you can hire people to come in there and help you out and to, to guard you against pirates. Um, and then you can, you know, pay them and all kinds of stuff, which sounds really, really fun and kind of, kind of awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more place and then 
Um, hopefully we can see some some more action. So let's go to another combo. Contact. Scanning. Shield. Charging. Quantum travel. Engage. So you can see that we are damaged by the uh, the top left there. That gives us a little idea of what we're looking at. Uh, you can see that currently my my aft shields are down. Uh, my forward shields are good to go. Oh, we got more enemies here. Contact. This is Crusader Contact. Security. Scanning. Scanning. There are already a lot of Contact. bandits again. Contact. Alright, moving in. I guess we could probably bump this. Uh, we're not going to bump it into cruise mode. We're going to let them fight it out for a little bit. That one went down. Scanning. Multiple contacts Contact. incoming. Contact. Not this guy. Scanning. This is when we're gonna fight. There we go. Whoa! As we almost hit him. Got ourselves a kill. Oh man, thanks for the assist. Things were looking a little tight. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if you got a second, we could use your help with one more thing. I don't think we can shut down thing. comm arrays in the area. You think disruption information flow give an edge? We need to guard the perimeter in case they come back. Think you could EVA down and reboot the array for us? Oh, very cool. So they want me to EVA down and reboot the array. Um, so like I said, there's there's quite a bit that you can do with this game uh, as it currently stands in the alpha. Now again, I just I need to point out this is an early alpha build, so everything you are seeing right now is very unstable. Um, I have had some pretty long play sessions, but there will be crashes. You will run into bugs and things like that, so keep that in mind. But this isn't the only thing that's available for this. Uh, there's clear. actually go ahead and reset the array. There's actually another uh, sort of section we're going to be taking a look at, at another in another video, and uh, yeah. So let's go and we're going to try an EVA here and repair this thing. I need to find the entrance first. Where would the entrance be? Let's see. I guess that'd be it right there. Okay, so we can. Drift on down. We'll have to EVA down to get to the array control okay, panel. so let's jump out of the cockpit. And we can EVA EVA out. There we go. Whoa! And there is one of the bugs right there. You guys let me just pop out the side. That's not supposed to happen. So yeah, you guys can see that's, that's definitely a bug. There are quite a few of them in the game itself. Okay. Go ahead and EVA to the control panel. And they do say this that they do have a lot of uh, voice acting in it already, but the big problem with the voice acting is they'll repeat the same thing like 70 times. So we can activate some mag boots. Let's see if we can get close enough to activate them. Maybe not. You guys can just listen to the sounds, the little ch 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 You gonna bring the array back online or not? I mean, if you shut your mouth. Alright, where is the control panel? Is this the control panel? This looks like a panel. But that's not what the one I'm looking for. Where, if I were a control panel, where would I be? The place I'm not currently looking. Too many blinking lights in here. What's the hold up? The hold up is I'm trying to locate the panel. Unless it's down here, make a lot of sense.
Oh, this must be it right here. You do need to be careful too. If you go too fast, you can hit stuff and well die. Is this it? Can I get close enough to use it? Hostiles coming our way. Looks like I can't actually use this thing. Come on. Nope. Can't use that. Unless this is it over here. This has got to be it. There we go. Bam. Heck yeah, we just turned the comma ray on. Fantastic. Well, this just gives you guys an idea of the things you can do inside this game. Now, my ship is currently bugged. I will not be able to get back into it, well, unfortunately. You know it's done. If you come across any more down to race, go ahead and reset them. Only if it's safe, though. I don't want you tangling with outlaws. So, like I was saying, uh, I won't be able to get back into my ship. So, unfortunately, I will have to restart. And I think that the battle damage that you suffer will continue on even in the alpha. I'll have to double check that, though. And I'll get back to you guys on that one. But... Uh, as you guys can see, there are, there are a few things you can do inside the game. Obviously, the Persistent Universe isn't there yet. This is just the early alpha. But I just wanted to give you all a quick look at the things you can kind of sort of mess around with. Um, like I said, there there are other ships that, did, that they do uh, provide for free inside the game on certain weekends uh, that they're trying to test out. So you guys uh, can take a look at those when they are available. Um, some of them are the, uh, the multi-person ships as well. So a lot of fun stuff you can do. Um, even in the early alpha as it stands right now turning on arrays find stuff and uh, fighting pirates and I think my ship just got blown up nope nope okay we're still good we're still good but uh, that's gonna be it for today I hope you guys really enjoyed this quick look at Star Citizen um, and uh, look forward to more of the I hope you guys look forward to more of those in the future but uh, we're gonna call it that for today and uh, until next time I will catch you all later.